With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. The question is 250 ml 0.1 ml HCl solution, 10 ml 0.1 ml NUH is added and the resulting solution is diluted to 100 ml. What is the change in the pH of the HCl solution? The reaction that takes place is that HCl reacts with NaOH, right? And it gives, uh, as this is a reaction between a strong acid and a strong base, right? It leads to the formation of NaCl as well as water, right? So, the uh, you're given 50 ml of HCl and 0.1 molar, right? And NaOH is 10 ml and the concentration is 0.1 molar. So, basically, if we talk about the pH initially, Right, if we talk about the initial pH of the solution, initially, what is the concentration of HCl given to you? This is 0.1 M, right? And HCl, with, when HCl will dissociate, it will give 1 H plus ion and 1 Cl minus ion. So, therefore, the concentration of H plus ion will be equal to the concentration of C, uh, H plus ion. Sorry, the concentration of H plus ion will be equal to the concentration of HCl, right? So, from here, if we will find out the pH, this will be minus log of concentration of H plus, right? And this is also equal to the concentration of H plus, which is log 10 to the power minus 1. So, initially, the pH of HCl is equal to 1, right? Now, after the reaction, first what we are going to calculate is the milli equivalence, right? The milli equivalence of HCl will be the uh, molarity of HCl into the volume in liters into the N factor, right? So, the molarity of HCl is 0 0.1. The volume in liters is 50 divided by 1000. N factor is 1 because this will give 1 H plus ion. So, this is N factor is 1. Similarly, NaOH will give 1 OH minus ion. So, the N factor is going to be 1 only, right? So, these are the milli equivalents of HCl, which comes out to be 5 into 10 to the power minus 3. Similarly, we can calculate the milli equivalents of NaOH, right? This will be molarity of NaOH, which is 0.1, volume 10 by 1000, and factor is 1, which means that you have 1 into 10 to the power minus 3. So, from here, what can you infer? You can infer that the milli equivalents of HCl are more than the milli equivalents of NaOH. Right. So, basically, there is excess of HCl. Right. And how much excess is there? 5 minus 1 into 10 to the power minus 3. Right. So, the excess of HCl, milli equivalence of HCl is 4 into 10 to the power minus 3. Right. Therefore, from here, if we find out the concentration of HCl, that will be, that will be the milli equivalence of uh, HCl, right, which is 4 into 10 to the power minus 3, right, divided by the volume. Now, what will be the volume of HCl? Now, as per the question, you are given that it is diluted to 100 ml, right. So, the volume is going to be, as the volume, it is diluted to 100 ml, which means that 0 0.1 liters, right. So, this will be divided by 0 0.1. So, the concentration of HCl, which will also be equal to the concentration of H+, plus, comes out to be equal to, this will be equal to 4 into 10 to the power minus 2 molar, okay. Now, as we have the concentration of H+, plus, we can find out the pH, which will be minus log of concentration of H+, plus, which will be minus log of 4 into 10 to the power minus 2. This can be written as minus log 4 minus log of 10 to the power minus 2. Now, as 10 to the power, as it has 10 to the power minus 2, minus 2 is in the power, which will come in the front as per the property of log. So, this will become plus 2 log 10 and log 10 is 1. Okay. So, basically, your pH will come out to be 1.398. Okay. This will be your pH. And as initially, Initially, the pH was 1, right? Initially, the pH was 1. So, what will be the change in the pH? Change in the pH will be 1.398 minus 1, which is equal to 0 0.398. So, this will be the change in pH and the correct answer for the question. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.